Welcome everyone to part two of Music Medic's five-part series on removing dents from a saxophone. My name is Rich. And I'm Ryan. Today we're going to be going over how to remove dents from a saxophone bell flare. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. First, let's go over the tools we need for this job. We're going to need a vise, preferably affixed to the floor. A three-quarter inch dent rod. A way to hold the dent rod in the vise. Our bell rim tool. Our slide lock roller tool, or a hand burnisher. As well as a dent hammer. Those are the tools. Next, let's talk anatomy. In part one, we remove dents from the bell itself. Today, we'll be focusing on dents from the bell flare, which is just this lip at the top of the bell. With the dent rod secured in the vise to the 3 8 16 side, we'll retrieve our bell rim tool. This stainless steel mandrel has a different taper on each side, one for a modern and one for a vintage bell. Each side has 3 8 16 threads and an indicator of where you're going to thread in your dent rod for the side needed. We should note here, it's important what side you thread it on. When you're working with the bell rim tool, it should face away from you, otherwise it will loosen up as you begin to do your work. The tool we use first here will depend on the damage to the bell flare. If it's a very sharp dent that's not rounded to match the flare, we'll start with a dent hammer. Plastic or Delrin is preferred as a metal hammer will work hard in the brass. With the mandrel behind the flare, gently tap down the dent with glancing blows. We're just trying to tap those high spots down. Our next tool will be the slide lock roller tool. You could use a regular hand burnisher, but you'll also then want to use a protective layer like mylar or lubricant in between to minimize the scratching on the plated or even lacquered surface. We prefer this rolling burnisher. That's going to cut down the amount of marring and scratching because you have constant contact with the surface while you're rolling it out. Again, we will line it up snug against our mandrel, and as you can see, I'm rolling it out, getting all the contours to take the shape of the mandrel. You can feel that hump from the mandrel. I like using the hand unit by itself because we don't actually need a lot of force to change the shape of this relatively soft material. Remember, the roller is steel and the mandrel is steel, but the bell is brass. It's the softer material that's going to smush. I don't want to use too much pressure here as I rotate the bell and the tool to get all the surfaces. We're just gently rolling it back to where it needs to be. If you find that clearance is an issue or you need to get a harder to reach dent, you can flip the roller attachment and use the other side of the taper. As you can see, the combination of our bell rim tool and slide lock roller makes surprisingly quick work of a dented bell flare. Having the ability to easily roll out a dent between these two stainless steel surfaces, we find these tools to be an indispensable solution to an all too common occurrence. Thanks, Ryan. That concludes part two of our five-part series on removing dents from a saxophone. We'll leave a link in the description to the tools that we use today. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out our next video in this series, Removing Dents from a Saxophone Bow. And until next time, happy repairing.